go get my line ups. Like I said, there's a girl, there's a girl there. I oh. made it right now. He's got like a file folder with okay. his stuff, and I was just like, you know what? If you're gonna have radio and other people who have picture, yeah. they're gonna want it. You might as well have a roster. Oh yeah. What I did for our conference here last year, all eight of our schools, is I just got all of our and I put them all in one sheet and yeah. I sent it out to our ADs. Like, Hand these out of games. Heard one AD that was like, yeah, that's a good idea. I'm like, oh, <laughs> that's we do it for basketball. We throw a bit if you yeah. have it for basketball. We throw a bit if you wouldn't have it for football. So why is it any different for you? Street sports just get the, get the shaft. They absolutely do. And I'm, I like fighting for the underdog. Oh yeah.
have a rock there. Oh, yeah. But, you know. Welcome to Nesita as we get set for the what ends up now being the opening day of the spring sports season, at least for baseball and softball. 
as the Pittsville Panthers come into town to take on the Nasita Cardinals. Steve Akinik Sports on Focus here to take you through this one. Well, it wasn't where we planned on being today, but weather really making things difficult here at the beginning of the spring season. First time we get to start spring on time in a few years, and Mother Nature not cooperating. Last two years, we had great weather in April. But this year, it's deciding to stay a little bit cold here as we get approaching April here. But this one getting played, it is the only two games. We'll keep an eye on the other side, the same two schools playing softball right behind me. So we'll get you score updates from there throughout the game as well. But we are ready to go. Warm-ups just finished up. They're just touching up a few things on the field here. And make sure we are ready. Only see one umpire right now. So maybe we might have a bit of a delay, but we will have a full weekend of baseball most likely for you this weekend. Uh, waiting for final confirmation on a few details, but we should be heading down to the Woodside Sports Complex in Mauston on Friday. Three games starting at 1.30, Medford will be taking on New Richmond, and then Medford will be taking on the defending Division II state champions, Denmark. We'll wrap the night up with Abby Colby versus New Richmond, and then weather permitting on Saturday, we'll be heading back down to Mauston. Uh, those games, and we'll look it up here, make sure I have the right list. Here. Because it's a lot, move, a lot of moving parts here today. Saturday, Medford versus Hudson to start the day. Then Abby Colby versus Amory. Columbus Catholic versus Regis. And then wrapping up the evening with Abby Colby versus Reedsburg. So seven baseball games over two days this weekend. Find them all right here where you're watching us now. And then we hope that weather holds out and we're able to dive into the spring sports season next week with a whole host of games. But we are still waiting. Nope, now we have both umpires. Okay. As we wait to get set here, we can see him down there, down the line. We are high above the baseball field here in Nesita. Really nice complex they have here. Baseball facing this way. We've got radio right behind us at the softball, which goes the other direction. And then directly behind both of these is the football field. And they all share a press box. So it is going to be a good day. We'll go through starting lineups here as they are exchanging cards. We will start with the Pittsville Panthers. Um, going through the list. Um, Evan Haley will lead off. He is playing at short. As I try and pull this up, make sure I get the last piece in that. Noah Grimm will be pitching. He's batting second. Brad Neve, the DH, bats third. He is batting for Joey Downs, who's playing second. Dylan Luther will be playing at, sh at in center. Waylon Grimm is in right. Marcus Getzinger is in left. Easton Dahman bats seventh. He's playing first base. Logan Zickert is catching. He's batting eighth. And Dryden Luther is at third, and he is batting ninth. Other subs available, Ethan Stren, Cody Gonzalez, and Sam Bowden. Flip the book over for the... N for the Nasita Cardinals, excuse me. Ah, I got to get back into the habit too. <laughs> Nasita Cardinals. Uh, Landon Murphy leading off. He is pitching. James Reynolds playing left field. He is batting second. Mikai Baraji is catching, batting third. Dom Bone is in is at short. He is batting fourth. Noah Bloom in center, batting s batting fifth. Stephen Daly batting sixth. He is at third. Riley Del Conte is at first base, batting seventh. Cody Quin Quinnell at second, batting eighth. And Mr. E. Horak did not get a first name for him. He is in right field, batting ninth. If you know pronunciations, if I got any of those wrong, let me know in the comments. We'll be keeping an eye on that throughout the game. As we get, we get the coaches meeting right down, meeting at the plate. 
So we should be playing here in just a little bit. But, yep. Um, so we are just waiting for last minute details here. But looks like we are ready to go and thank all our sponsors. There we go. A bit of lineup card issue there, but we are. Oh, ready to go. Just waiting. Last couple details. Waiting. They're huddling up, waiting for the team to take it, take to the field. Don't have much for stats for you. First game of the year, but Landon Murphy will be on the bump. He will get to start here today as the Nesita Cardinals do take the field while they're warming up. We're going to step aside for a quick 15. We will be back with the first pitch in just a moment. Living every day to the fullest, giving hugs and laughing loudly, bringing joy to those you love. Vaccines set us free to live openly. Schedule yours today. Huge thank you to all of our sponsors, including Aspirus, for making these broadcasts possible. We're going to light this up just a little. There we go. See a little better here. Uh, shooting through a net and some chain link here at Nasita, but well protected as we get set with Landon Murphy, who also leads off warming up. He will face Evan Haley, Noah Grimm, Brad Neve as we go... Oh, now another quick little, oh no, I think just, to, like everybody just trying to stay warm here today. Check the temperature. As softball's underway, Pittsville just getting a hit I can hear from our friends on the other side. We'll probably hear a little bit of each other. As try and get some, oh, weather well, not loading for us here. Got to do one quick thing. So they continue to warm up here. A couple sweatshirts. A lot of long sleeves here today. But we are getting ready. We'll warm up pitch. The throw down is well wide. Good save there, but I believe that's the shortstop, Dom Bone. Temperature 36 degrees. As Evan Haley digs in, he will bat from the right side. We will do it himself well dug in here. And we are ready for the first pitch of the 2022 spring season. The big kick and the pitch. That one just catches the outside corner, strike one. So, 0 1 on Evan Haley. The kick and the pitch. That one hit in the air, or on the ground, excuse me, to short pick. Throw to first in time, one away. Good play there, one out. And that will bring up the pitcher, Noah Grimm. Grimm will dig in from the left side. Facing off against Landon Murphy. The kick and the pitch. That one again just catches that outside corner. Strike one. Murphy enjoying for his first two batters. He's gone to that outside corner. Second pitch. We'll see what they dial up here. The kick. The pitch. That one comes inside. Maybe a bit low. One and one. So one and one here to Noah Grimm, the second batter. Murphy, the kick, the pitch. That one high. Two and one. It's going to be tough gripping that ball today in the cold. You could see Murphy, you know, blown into his hand a little bit. Got to be careful on that, though. The kick, the pitch. That one inside. Three and one. 
got that opening strike, and they've looked pretty good, but since then, I think he's been trying to throw something breaking and it's just not being able to grip the ball. Might be a fastball-only kind of day. Looks like that ball's slipping just a little bit out of his hand. So Murphy will dig back in. The kick. The pitch. That one down the middle. Strike two. Runs the count full three and two. As Noah Grimm digs back in, looking at this full count pitch. That one's fouled back and gets stuck in the chain link. Staying alive is Noah Grimm. So we pan up and show you that one. There it is, just stuck in the chain link up there. That'll come down at some point. Murphy digs back in, another full count pitch. That one high and outside, and that will draw the walk. First base runner of the year goes to the Panthers. One out walk, and that'll bring up Brad Neve, the DH. It's at 36 degrees and windy here in Nesita, but was kind of walking out on the field. It's pretty dry for all the weather we've had. I don't know if it'll be dry tomorrow with the rain coming in that's pretty much going to wash out most of, I think, Thursday's action. But like I said, we'll have Friday for sure because that's turf down there in uh, Mauston as Noah Grimm gets the jacket, puts that on. So Neve will dig in, big right-hand hitter. Murphy working from the stretch for the first time this year. Grimm, short lead. Murphy set the pitch. That one fouled off the umpire strike one. And now Grimm's going to walk down, or Neve, excuse me, he's going to walk down. He's going to have a quick chat with Coach Rayburn. Just to make sure the umpire is all right. That foul ball just over Makai's glove and got the umpire right in the face mask. Those are ones never, you know, that's why they wear the protective gear, but it still hurts. So 0-1 to Brad Neve. The pitch, that one right back up the middle. That one's gonna get through a base hit. Grimm's gonna turn, he will hold that second. Now a bit of a bobble. Grimm's gonna try and go to third. The throw is not in time. A little bit of a bobble out there. We're gonna give it a base hit. And we're gonna give him the single and we're gonna advance him on that. So first and third, one out. Good hitting that one right back up the middle. That one almost tagged second base. And then just that little bobble in center field that got Grimm to third, runner 90 feet away for Dylan Luther. The center fielder digging it in from the right side. As Murphy working from the stretch again. Comes set, the pitch. That one is fouled back. That's going to head over towards the softball field. Strike one. So Murphy will dig back in up there. He's going to do a little landscaping on the mound. Keeps that hand in those back pocket. Try and keep it warm so he gets a little better grip on that ball. We saw him slipping a little bit there. Sets, the pitch. That one right down the middle, strike two. Oh, and two. So Murphy, he's got a chance to get it to two outs here. Oh, two pitch. That one is hit, sliced, foul down the line. That one's gonna stay in play, but that'll be a foul ball. Stays alive at 0-2, just a little behind that one. Wait for everybody to reset. To Murphy, again, a long walk off the mound. Tracking that one down. Now he's going to get himself set from the stretch. Look in, come set. The pitch. That one tipped into the glove, strike three. Two away. 
got that one just past Luther, and now will come Waylon Grimm. Playing in right field today, he will dig in from the right side. Chance for Murphy to get out of this. Still first and third. This comes set. The pitch. That one just a bit outside, ball one. So getting, or excuse me. The kick, the pitch. That one's hit on the line. Into, into left, over the left fielder's head. That's a base hit. One run is in. They're just sending Neve. Neve's going to turn. No, he's going to slow down and stop there. They're going to hold him up. That is a double. Checking something here. Yes, Waylon Grimm. So Waylon Grimm with the double. That will score a run. RBI for Waylon Grimm. It is second and third. Got a little second and third, and that will bring up Marcus Getzinger, the left fielder. First pitch to him. That one is low. Ball one. To Getzinger. Digs in again from that right side. Murphy sets the pitch. That one high and tight, 2-0. and oh. Still top of the first. Getzinger. Sixth. Sixth Panther to come to the plate. That one just catches the outside corner. 2-1. and one. Murphy hits that outside corner well. He's just had issues anywhere else. And when Pittsville's ready for it, they know to dig... They can set up on that outside pitch. The, that one comes inside, swing and a miss. Getzinger evens the count, two and two. Second and third, two outs. Marcus Getzinger, a chance, couple RBI opportunities out there. That pitch comes in. They're gonna say he... Checking, okay, I guess he went. So they say he went, that is strike three, and that will send us to the bottom of the first. So bottom of the first here, front, we'll head to the bottom, one nothing Pittsville. We'll be back right after this. It's no secret that there's very low inventory at most dealerships. However, at Wheeler's Family Auto Group, we have the perfect opportunity to get you into a new vehicle. It's as easy as setting up an appointment, checking out what's currently available at one of our four locations. If we don't have it there, we can actually look and see what's coming in. But the easiest is to order your vehicle. The lead time is 12 to 16 weeks, and we can get you in a new ride. It takes about 25 to 30 minutes. Stop in and see one of your local Wheeler's sales consultants. Welcome back. We head to the bottom of the first. Landon Murphy, James Reynolds, Mikai Baroji. Check will be due up here for Nasita. They trail 1-0 and they will face the left-hander Noah Grimm. Couple hits, a walk, one run across for the for the Panthers there in the first. Grimm getting his warm-up tosses in. We'll get you set for the Pittsville outfield. Pitching is Noah Grimm. Catching is Logan Zeckert. First base is Easton Dahman. Second base is Joey Downs. He's being pitch hit for. Shortstop, Evan Haley. Third base, Dryden Luther. Across the outfield, Marcus Getzinger in left. Dylan Luther in center. And Waylon Grimm is in right. So getting ready, I think one more, and we'll get the throw down and get ourselves ready to go for the bottom of the first. First chance to see this Nesita Cardinals team. 
First time we've been down here for baseball, or for anything for that matter, throw down. And that one will get tossed around, and we are ready to go as the pitcher, Landon Murphy, will dig in. Looking to maybe try and help get that run back. As I just hear, Nisita gets the run across. They lead 1-0 in the softball field. So Landon Murphy digs in from the right side to face the left-handed Noah Grimm. Grimm sets the kick and the pitch. That one fouled off at the plate, strike one. So Grimm digging in, comes set. The kick and the pitch, swing and a miss. Breaking ball gets him, 0-2. saw Noah last year strike out 17 against Spencer as Grimm comes set the pitch swing and a miss strike three one away they cut on that one one out that'll bring up James Reynolds the left fielder digs in Noah Grimm has got a brutal curveball to go with a pretty good fastball. Grimm sets. First pitch. That one just misses the outside corner. Ball one. As Grimm sets again, he's a quick worker. Looks in. The kick and the pitch. That one low shoots away from the catcher. 2-0. And, oh. and Grimm taking a couple hops there, I think maybe trying to get something set on the mound there. But Noah Grimm will dig back in. 2-0 to James Reynolds. The kick. The pitch. That one is hit on a line, but that one's going to go foul and out of play. Strike one. That one comes back in. Didn't a lot of foul territory down both lines here, but it's hard to get to. Pretty much a straight line from the backstop. The kick and the pitch. That one just misses at the low end of the plate. Three and one. So three and one, one out. Reynolds. Digs back in. Grimm, now he's going to step off. Well, Grimm needs to reset. Now, always working from the stretch. The pitch. That one just misses low, and that'll be a walk. First base runner for Nasita. Comes via the walk. And that will bring up McKee. McKay Baraji. So runner on. Both, both teams got their first runner via walk now. And on both times it was the second hitter. Noah Grimm came around and scored. We'll see what they can do here. The catcher. McKay back. That one big cut and a miss. Comes right back with that curveball. Outfield playing straight up. Infield straight up as well. Long looking. Grimm's got a good move. The pitch. That one's hit on the line. That's going to go foul and out of play. 0 oh and 2. Interesting to see if Grimm goes to first now. That he has a very good move. Sets. Yes, he is. He's going to move the... Nope. Nope, they do not get him. Ooh, I thought they had him there for a second. I think if that tag gets put on a little better there by Easton Dahman, they got him. (laughs) 
the kick, the pitch. That one outside gets passed. They will get that one ahead. That will move James Reynolds ahead. He will move ahead on the wild pitch. So they move ahead on the wild pitch. So they'll come back set. One and two on the kick, the pitch. That one's hit on the ground. That one's going to get through just over the bag. They had to hold the runner, so I think he's going to be stuck at third. They had to hold him because it was that ball might have been played there as it just tucked inside the bag. And that will be the first hit of the season for the Nesita Cardinals, and that will bring up Dom Bon. The shortstop, RBI opportunity, tying run, standing there at third. Early to be talking about that, but on a night, day like today when it's going to be cold and miserable, it's going to be, each run is going to be very important. See if they put anything on here. As that one comes in, that'll catch the zone for a strike, 0-1. Grim digging back in. Takes a long look over at first. The kick, the pitch. Swing and a miss. Got the off, fooled him with the off speed. 0 oh and 2. So runners at the corners, one away. Noah Grimm would love a ground ball here. 0 oh 2 count. Long look in, now the kick and the pitch. Runner goes. No, they throw back down to third. They did not get him. But Broji will steal second. So that one must have been a ball. So one and two kept there for, I thought maybe they were going to throw to second. So now run two runners in scoring position. One out, the kick, the pitch. That one just missing. Two and two. Two and two here, as now they get set. Grim. The kick, the pitch. That one fouled off, not able to hold on. Bone stays alive. Takes back in. Grim sets. The kick, the pitch. That one hit on the ground. Grim can't get to it. The play will be at first. The throw is in time. Nobody covering third. So Baraji will advance as well, but they get the out, but the run comes across. So that will go down as a 1-5-3. So that'll be the second out. Run comes across. RBI for Dom Bone. And that will bring up Noah Bloom, the center fielder. Two down, tied here at one. The kick, the pitch. That one comes across for a strike, 0-1. Net. They have a little net kind of protecting the area right below where everybody kind of comes in. The kick, the pitch. That one comes across for a strike again. 0-2. Grimm's been able to get to 0-2. Grimm sets. The pitch. That one trying to maybe get him to chase. Just misses the outside corner. 1-2. Two outs, Grimm looking to get out of this. Sets. The pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three, and that will end the inning. But not before the Cardinals push a run across. On a hit, they leave one. We head to the top of the second. 1-1, Pittsville and Nesita. Literally.
Insurance, we know you want to protect your business. The Clinner Insurance team will help you choose the insurance package and plan that fits you and your business. At Clinner Insurance, protecting your business is our top priority. Clinner Insurance. I had an employee at once ask me to prioritize family, faith, and business. And I put them in that order in particular. For each one of our employees, it's family first. You do what is best for you and your family. Then the rest of it will take care of itself. It's about making sure you make the best decisions for you and your family. professional football player Bill Ferrario and I had a career protecting quarterbacks in Green Bay and Madison. Now when I need protection, I turn to the professionals at Marshfield Insurance. They help protect my home, auto and business from disaster. With over 30 A-rated insurance companies to choose from and two dozen agents, they're conditioned to give you great coverage at great rates. Plus I keep them in tip top shape. Let's go premium boy. It's really necessary. No, but it sure is fun. 1-1 one, one here as we head to the top of the second. Bottom of the order due up for Pittsfield. Dom and Zicker, Dryden Luther. 6-0 Nasita right behind us on the softball field as again the throw goes wide from the catcher, Mikai Barocci. But we are ready to go. Murphy back out there for another inning of work. Easton Dahman will dig in, his first at-bat of the year. Bats from the right side. Murphy from the windup. That one comes in, catches the inside corner for a strike, 0-1. As they dig back in, the pitch. That one inside almost gets Dahman. Where's number four? My old number from my baseball days. Well, when I was <laughs> the pitch. That one inside again almost gets him. Two and one. Looks like from Murphy's reaction, those balls were supposed to break and they didn't. Now let's see what he comes back with. He's gonna go outside corner and just catch it two and two. He does such a good job painting that outside corner. And that's a hard pitch to get to. But the pitch, that one a little too far, and that'll run the count full three and two. They dig back in. Dominant, the pitch. Swing and a miss, or excuse me, Dominant, the Murphy, the pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three, one away. That is the third out of the third strikeout for Landon Murphy, and that will bring up Logan Zickert. Zickert, the first pitch from Murphy. That one a little high and outside, ball one. Now they set. The pitch. That one fouled back into the, into the fencing. One and one. Nice facility, like I said, nice facility here. We're out behind the high school in the south end, just to the south of Nasita proper. Um, bordering school districts. You don't think about it too much, but yeah, there isn't a whole lot between Nasita and Pittsville. As the pitch comes in, that one comes in low and inside. That'll be two and one. Nasita in the Scenic Bluffs Conference, obviously Pittsville in the central Wisconsin south. The pitch, that one way outside. That'll be three and one. Um, Pittsville though, come fall, they make the move to the Merrillwood for football. So we will see a lot of the Pittsville Panthers next year. The kick, the pitch. High and outside and that'll be a walk. 
So second inning in a row with a one-out walk, and that will bring up the bottom of the order Dryden Luther, the third baseman, wearing the number 13 today. So another another base runner for Pittsville. Walk in the first, they were able to push across. Murphy sets the pitch. High and tight. 1-0. and oh. Sets. Throw back to first, not in time. Seven nothing now in the softball field. I believe they're still in the first over there. They will, as Murphy will set the pitch. That one right down Main Street, one and one. Another throw back to first, diving in. <laughs> Had to do a little extra crawling there. As got caught out just a little bit there. Murphy, a good move for a right-hander. And Logan Zickert, maybe tr maybe getting a little, no, he is going. The throw, they're gonna test him and that is gonna be in time. Caught stealing, that is the second out of the inning. And that is was a ball, so that is two and one now to Luther, but now two outs and the base is empty. They set the wine, the pitch. That one just a bit high, three and one. Eight runs across now for Nasita in the bottom of the first for the softball side. That one big cut and a miss. That was ball four. Instead, it is a full count three and two. And the wind, the pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three. Gets another high fastball by him. And the, the Panthers go in order in the second. The walk is caught stealing. We head to the bottom of the inning. That will be still 1-1. Daly, Del, Del Conte, and Quinnell do up for Desita when we come back. Welcome back. We head to the bottom of the second, one and one. Um, six, seven, eight, do up for Nasita, Daly, Del Conte, and Quinnell. Uh, they will face Noah Grimm as he will throw one more warm up here. And the throw down. 
So we come back 1-1. And that will bring up Steven Daly. Right hand, right hand hitter. He wears number one. And Grimm will dig in. Daly will dig in and Grimm comes set. First pitch at the bottom of the second. Will be a the kick. That'll be a swing and a miss, strike one. They set. The kick, the pitch. That one hit in the air. That one might be playable down the line. No, it will not. That one will get into foul territory. Oh, and two. So 0-2 now on Stephen Daly, and now he'll take time. Daly will take time. He steps out. Bases loaded again now behind us in the softball game. Still in the first 11-0, nine hit by pitches. Pittsville has given up the pitch. Oh, just misses the outside corner. One and two. She 12 nothing now. That should be just a quick three inning, three, four inning game over there. As they set. Grim, the kick, the pitch. Tries the curveball, slips out of his hand. Good spin on that one. Really good spin on that one coming in. Kind of nice being up here. Usually we're down field level. The kick, the pitch. That one low, that runs the count full. Grim wanted that one. Not against the, not against the umpire. I think that was against himself. He, he thought that was going to be a better pitch. Might have slipped in his hand a little bit, like we've seen a lot. So full count here to Stephen Daly, his first at bat of the season. The kick, the pitch. That one just misses low, draws the walk. So a leadoff base runner for Nesita. That will bring up Riley Del Conti. And they're going to bring Daly out a sweatshirt. See a lot of those today, I am sure. So now we wait for our outfield umpire to get himself set. Oh, wait for the sweatshirt to get put on the hat. You can't. The kick, the pitch. That one inside just gets past. Logan Zickert. One one here in the second. The pitch. That one is hit in the air. Center field. This might be trouble coming in. Catch and ball is dropped. Ooh. They had Stephen Daly, and I think Dylan Luther got a little too excited on that one. Saw that Daly was not tagging up on that and would have had a double play. Never looked it into his glove. And that the error there will put runners at first and second. Nobody out for Cody Quinnell. Big right hander digs in. So the E8. First pitch is a bit low. Ball one. Error. Gets runner in scoring position here. 1-1, one, one, bottom two. Big run out there at second. The kick, the pitch. That one just misses below the knees. 2-0. and oh. You know, it's interesting for Bolt, for Pittsville for sure. Nasita, I'm not sure. I'm going to have to look this up going into the rest of the week. Pittsville currently scheduled to play at Port Edwards on Thursday. Question is, do you play with that one being played as that one is a swing and a miss? Even though I am willing to bet all $2.75 in my pocket that that game does not get played on Thursday. 
Grimm. The kick. The pitch. That one catches the corner. Two and two. So then after that, Pittsville wouldn't have a game till next week. So they, if they want, they could empty out the, the pitching here if they need to. But right now it is 2-2. Two, two, the pitch. Strike three looking. One away. Good pitch there from Noah Grimm. Froze Cody Quinnell, and that will bring up Mr. Horak. Did not get a first name for him. Wearing number four. It's E. See if we can hear something from somebody announcing, yelling anything. But that is one out. Still two runners on. The kick, the pitch. That one just misses low ball one. The number nine hitter playing right field. Wind picks up here a little bit. It's definitely, temperature definitely dropping here. The pitch. That one catches the corner. Comes all the way across the plate. That one started in the left-hand batter's box. Caught the plate and... Zickert actually caught that one level with the right-hand batter's box. The kick, the pitch. That one comes across for a strike again, one and two. Grimm would love to get a second out here. Before he comes back around to the top of the order, Landon Murphy who struck out on three, on three pitches. The pitch. That one fouled off. Staying alive is Mr. Horak. Grim will take a little walk. Now he'll get himself set. Like you said, Grim will work quickly. Sets. Look, the pitch. That one is sliced foul. That will come off the Pittsville dugout. Staying alive again is Mr. Horak. One, one here in the bottom of the second. One away, one, two, the count. Grim, come set. The kick, the pitch. Catches the outside corner, strike three looking. Two away. Grim may be finding something. That little breaking ball, breaking back across. That little, I guess technically a backdoor breaking ball. Just catching that outside corner. And that brings us back to the top of the order. Landon Murphy, he struck out swinging back in the first. 0 for 1. The kick, the pitch. That one just missing that outside corner. 0 and 1. Um, obviously, you know, Grimm has a bit of cross plate motion from the left hand batter's box anyway because he throws from a little bit of an angle there. The pitch. That one swing and a miss. Just a good old high fastball blown by him. 1 and 1. Grim may be getting a little more comfortable here. He sets. The kick. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike two. I don't know if Grim just maybe found something. Got every got a little bit of the cobwebs off. But one two count to one two count from Noah Grimm to Landon Murphy. Grim sets. The kick. The pitch. Just missing low, two and two. Tried to get Murphy to chase. Good eye from Landon Murphy. Two, two, two outs. Grim sets. Quick look back at second. The kick, the pitch. That one's hit on the ground to third. Boots that one. That one will come around and that'll be another error and the bases are loaded. E5. Gets Murphy on. Everybody moves up a station. Bases are loaded. Two outs. And that will bring up James Reynolds. Nope. Yes, James Reynolds. Will dig in. He walked and scored a run. He advanced also on a wild pitch. Then scored on the RBI ground out by Dom Bone. Bases loaded, two outs. Another guy getting his sweatshirt on out there is Mr. Murphy. Keep that shoulder and elbow warm. So Reynolds digs in, walked and scored the only run for Nasita. The kick, the pitch. That one catches the inside corner, strike one. 
Two errors in the inning for Pittsville. Grimm looking to get out of it. The kick, the pitch. Inside for a ball. Good grab there by Logan Zeckert. Or Zeckert, excuse me, to get to that one. That one came all the way across the plate on him. Reynolds digging back in. Grimm, the kick, the pitch. That one chopped on the ground to first, picked up, steps on the bag, and Pittsville gets out of it. The ground out, three unassisted, and that will send us to the third. No runs, no hits, two errors. We leave the bases loaded. Pittsville will come up in the third. It will be top of the order. Haley Grimm Neve do up when we come back. At Fairway Independent Mortgage Corporation, we are here to help you with your local home needs. Whether it's your first house or your dream house or your last house, Fairway is here for you. We care about our customers because they are not only our neighbors, but our friends. We are a locally owned mortgage company and we pride ourselves on helping better our community and our customers. If you would like to learn more about your home options, please give me a call today at 715-384-7878. Hi, this is Jason Miller from U.S. Seller and Northside Computers. Um, we're currently celebrating our 25th year of doing business here in Marshfield. Um, all of the money that has been spent here um, is, you know, is spent at other establishments that we do business with. We employ local people. Uh, we've done, uh, we've sponsored numerous North Youth Apprenticeship programs and uh, sponsored, you know, sporting events and other things of that nature. Of all the places you could purchase a cell phone or a computer from, uh, we want to thank you for doing business with us. One one, we head to the top of the third. Top of the order, due up for Pittsville. Haley Grimm Neve. So they will come. They will bat here. They will send up. Haley will come up first. The shortstop. He grounded out too short. Back in the first. O for one on the short season. But he will dig in from the right side to face Landon Murphy. Murphy only giving up the two hits, the one run. 1-1 one, one here in the third, the pitch. That one right down the middle, strike one. Here in the top of the third, the kick, the pitch. That one tap, that's going to be right in front of the plate. It's going to be a tough play, the throw hits him. And now we're going to see what they call. Because it went off of the back of Evan Haley. Now the umpires are going to come together on that one. He was inside the line. See what they call. Nope, they're going to say safe. Nope, he's okay. So we're going to give that one a base hit. So Evan Haley, the single, he makes it. And that puts a runner at first. That one. Mikhai Baraji trying to get to the, trying to get to that one and get a throw in. Ended up it was a good throw, but Haley was inside the line a little bit. That one comes in a little bit high to Noah Grimm. Walked and scored the only run of the game for the Panthers. And he was on the ins right just to the inside of the line in that throw, the pitch. Just that does catch the outside corner one and one. So that one, as Baraji was kind of throwing, he lost his footing, and I think that's why they gave it to him. Because I don't, I think if he makes a little bit better, gets a little bit better footing on that throw, so that one goes outside for a ball. That one probably is wide of Evan Haley. So I'm not gonna, we're not gonna give him an error on that one. That was not an error. Trying to get that in as they set the pitch. That one hit in the air. That one's going to hook foul towards the football field and out of play. Uh, just makes the track. Two and two. 
as we got the heat on up here now, making things a little bit better, but it's still got two windows open. So I don't know how much it's going to do as Noah Grimm looking to help himself out. The kick, the pitch. That one hit on the ground to first. Pick, they're just going to get the one. Kind of bobbled it a little bit, so they will get the out. Grimm retired. That will advance Haley to second. I think if, if excuse me, that is Del Conte gets that one clean. Kind of bobbled it just a little bit. If he gets that one clean, I think he can go to. I think he would have gone to second. But then again, with the luck they've had with <laughs> Mr. Ne with um, Mr. Haley out there, I think that was probably a better idea. So Brad Neve, the DH, will dig in here now. He singled and was stranded. Follows that one straight back up over us. Strike one. Either way, that's one out. That one, I think, they're trying to keep the balls warm a little bit. Pretty open dugouts here, so I think teams are cold too, as you see the hood there on Mr. Neves' back. Wearing a hoodie under the jersey. Built like what you'd expect from a DH. Brad Neve, as Murphy sets the pitch. That one catches the out, catches the bottom there. 0 oh 2. Murphy, too, finding a bit of a groove here. Two strikeout. He set him down in order back in the second. The pitch. Inside and hits him. Slipped. The hit by pitch. That will put Neve on first. So two on, one out. And that will bring up Dylan Luther. Struck out swinging back in the first. He's 0 for 1. So digging in now, Dylan Luther, as we said, struck out back in the first, playing center field, the pitch. That one just a bit low, ball one. Here in the third, quick moving game here. The pitch. That one hit on the ground. Two third, they will get the lead runner, They will, and that is all they will get. Good play there by Steven Daly, five unassisted on the fielder's choice. So it's still second and still first and second. Now two outs, and that will bring up Waylon Grimm. Double, RBI double back in the, and the pitch. That one a little high, one and oh. Back in the first, he knocked in the only run for the Pittsville Panthers. Murphy comes back set. The pitch. That one hit in the air on the infield. Shortstop coming in, calls for it, makes the catch, and that'll end the inning. Hit by pitch and a single. Both are stranded. We head to the bottom of the third. It will be the be three, four, five. Heart of the order due up for the Nasita Cardinals, McKay Baraji, Don Bone, Noah Bloom when we come back. At Clinter Insurance, we know you want to protect your business. The Clinter Insurance team will help you choose the insurance package and plan that fits you and your business. At Clinter Insurance, protecting your business is our top priority. Nicolet Bank is now offering their Real Rewards Checking. Want your checking account to work for you? Sign up for the Real Rewards Checking and get 3% APY each month on account balances up to $10,000. Terms and conditions apply. Check out NicoletBank.com for more details.
welcome back. We head to the bottom of the third, 1-1. One, one. Nasita and Pittsville, both teams have had opportunities. Bottom of the second, um, Nasita able to load the bases up on a walk and a couple errors, but weren't able to push anything across. And then Pittsville had two on with one out and were not able to push anything across there either. So that will send us to the third. As you'd expect on a cold day like this, that hard to grip that ball, hard to really get good pitches across. You're going to see a little more offense, some walks, things like that. That's going to you know dig into that second part of your lineup for pitching. And especially if you have, like I said, Pittsville technically still has a scheduled game this week. They play... Um, they are scheduled to play Port Edwards on Thursday, a game that might possibly be a game we bring you. I'm not sure exactly what all we're doing yet. Our planned game, Auburndale Spencer softball, has already been canceled due to field conditions in Spencer. So we're going to look around tomorrow, see what we can come up with. We might be doing some baseball or softball from Port Edwards on Thursday. We'll see. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Braji. Takes a big cut on that one, 0-1-1. On one. The kick, the pitch. Another big cut on that high outside breaking ball. Definitely get the feeling he has, looking at his swings, it looks like he has one of those guys that has the job to hit the ball hard. He's taking some big cuts out there, but Noah Grimm, not the kind of pitcher, pitcher you can usually do that against. Big cut and a miss, strike three. Three straight breaking balls, all swing and a miss, and that will set down Braji. One for two now today, and now comes Dom Bon. He grounded into a, got a ground out, one, five, three. That rocked in the only run of the game for Nasita. First pitch. Swing and a miss. Breaking ball low in the dirt. Swung at it. 0-1. Noah Grimm definitely finding his groove a little bit more here now. Sets. The pitch. That one fouled back into the fencing. 0-2. So the 0-2 now. As the wind still picking up, it is still cold here. But glad somebody is playing a little baseball. And softball, they kick the pitch. That one catches the outside corner. Strike three, looking two away. Good, good pitch, that movement. I think that was a fastball, but just that movement that Noah Grimm gets from the left-hand batter's box across to the right-hand batter's box. That is just brilliant. Brutal on a pit, on a player that hasn't seen it before. Noah Bloom digs in. He struck out swinging back in the first. That one catches the outside corner. Strike one. Grim one, two, three, four, five, six strikeouts now through two and two thirds. The pitch. That one fouled into the fencing. Zero oh and two. They get that one ready. He tries to warm that hand up a little bit. Good job by the by Mr. Daly, the on-deck hitter, tossing that one back in. One of those things that sometimes you forget early in the season. As Grimm, the kick, the pitch. That one just missing the outside corner. Tried to get him to chase. One and two. So Grimm looking in, getting the sign. And he will come set. The kick, the pitch. That one just missing the outside corner. Two and two. As they just trying to, trying to get him to chase that. See if maybe he comes back inside here. The kick, the pitch. That one knocked on the ground. Foul. Ooh. Just a bit of a misplay there by the third base coach. Score run in the bottom half of the inning. I think it would be a three inning, 15 run mercy rule. I think that's how 
So they will get that set as Grimm, everybody gets themselves resituated. Third base coach not quite able to make the barehanded play down there. The kick, the pitch. Ooh, just inside that one. Ooh. Runs the count full. That one almost. Oh, there we go. Yep, three and two. Okay. So let's see what they do here. The pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three. Noah Grimm comes back with the fastball and gets him. And that will send us to the fourth. The Cardinals go in order all strikeouts. We head to the top of the fourth. It will be Marcus Getzinger, Easton Dahman, Logan Zickert do up when we come back. One one as we head to the top of the fourth. Murphy back out there for another inning of work. He'll face Marcus Getzinger. And now a little pause here. First base ump wasn't ready. He was doing a little landscaping along that first baseline, making sure everything looked good for him. Now we are ready. Getzinger digs in. The first pitch to him is just a bit inside ball one. Getzinger, Dahman, Zickert do up here. That is six, seven, eight in the lineup. The pitch. That one big cut and a miss. Strike one, one and one. Like we said, everything up in the air for Thursday. If they play it, we might head to Port Edwards, depending on the weather and everything else. The pitch. That one comes across for a strike. Just catches the outside corner, one and two. Uh, not sure if it'll be baseball. Probably do softball down there being that we're doing baseball here today. But again, that's all dependent on the weather. The pitch. Swing just getting a piece of that one, staying alive as Getzinger. Is that a lot of it's going to depend on what happens tonight and tomorrow with the rain and the snow and the sleet and the hail and the slush. I think we're going to get all of it. The pitch. That one just catches the bottom of the corner, bottom of the zone, strike three, looking one down. Good. <laughs> Good pitch there from Landon and Murphy. Uh, Easton Dahman comes up. He struck out swinging to lead off the second. First pitch comes in. That misses for a ball. 1 0. Oh. Here in the fourth. So there will. The kick, the pitch. Swing and a miss. Big cut there from Easton Dahman. One and one. Landon Murphy. He's pitched a good game since that shaky first inning. Big cut and a miss again from Easton Dahman. One and two. <coughs> Excuse me. Getting back in the swing of everything. The kick, the pitch, that one low and outside, two and two. The 
wine. Quick step in the pitch. That one a little high. Runs the count full. Landon doing just a little bit of his, he kind of varies his delivery, which can get you a little off center. Is that time he calls quick again? Swing and a miss, strike three, two down. So back-to-back -back strikeouts, that'll bring up Logan Zickert. He was walked and then was caught stealing back in the second. 0 for 0. The pitch, that one catches the outside corner, strike one. Murphy maybe just going solely to that really quick pitch. Early on, he seemed to have a little bit more of a kick, actually going from the windup now. The pitch. That one a little low for a ball, one and one. Actually, yeah, he's working from the windup. Okay, that's why. From the stretch, he has a bit more of a kick. The pitch. That one is sliced foul. That's going to head out over onto the track. One and two. Football field kind of behind us here. Softball field behind us in the other direction. So single press box for all of it. It's kind of a nice setup here in Nesita. The pitch. That one high and outside. Two and two. Two, two count. Two outs here. Nobody on. Murphy, an efficient inning. That one is sliced. That one's going to get over, and that one's going to get down a base hit. Two out single for Logan Zickert, and that will bring up Dryden Luther. Good piece of hitting there. Fourth hit for Pittsville. Nasita just the one, but a couple errors and a walk. Really getting things going. As that pitch comes in, they're going to get the strike. 0 and 1. As that was a not nice swing there from Dryden Luther. Got a little crossed up there. Murphy now from the stretch. Zicker who said, got cut stealing back in the second. See if he tries to go again. The pitch. That one a bit low. 1 and 1. So one and one on Dryden Luther, the third baseman. Murphy sets the pitch. Slipped a bit on that one. That ball comes in high. Two and one. I must be confused. I thought he had a bit more of a kick, but that kick has completely gone away here. From Landon Murphy sets the pitch. That one low and outside. Good stop there. Three and one. You know the old saying, everything happens with two outs. Six, two out single, and now Dryden Luther, three one. See what they try to pick off move, not there. Back in safely is Logan Zickert. So, long look, set, the pitch. That catches the inside corner, runs the count full. I don't think Dryden, Lu Dryden Luther agreed with that one. He kind of took a little extra step out. Now the pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three. Around the single, three strikeouts for Landon Murphy. We head to the... Bottom of the fourth, it will be Stephen Daly, Riley Del Conte, Cody Quinnell due up for Nisita when we come back. Living every day to the fullest, giving hugs and laughing loudly, bringing joy to those you love. 
Vaccines set us free to live openly. Schedule yours today. First date? We get it. Extra snacks? We get it. Big purchase? We get it. Spend your money your way with a checking account from Prevail Bank. Welcome back. Bottom of the fourth. Um, six, seven, eight, do up for Nisita, Daly, Del Conte, and Quinnell. 15 nothing in the third for the softball team. Pittsville trailing Nisita. So Pittsville, one run on four hits. They have committed two errors. Nasita one run on just the one hit. No errors. They come in. Warming up. Noah Grimm. Grimm already. Three, four, five, six, seven strikeouts through three innings. It's been around the strikeouts that... Nasita's been able to get a few runs across, get a run across, and get a few base runners. Um, you know, they got two on in the first, loaded the bases in the second, just the one run coming across. And then obviously in the third, they went, Nasita went in order. So they come in daily. The third baseman comes in. He walked and was stranded at third back in the second. 0 for 0, the pitch. That one just a little bit low. Ball one. Here in the bottom of the fourth. Somebody's going to have to score a run because this game can't go too much later. We're going to get into the raid. The pitch. That one inside just missing daily. 2-0. and oh. So Daly digs back in. Grim sets. The pitch. Just missing the outside corner. 3 and 0. Oh. And that's one of those for Grim that a straight pitch in that spot might get the call, but because that pitch comes back across and tails across the plate there, sometimes looks like it might miss or might actually fool on that as that one comes in. That one does catch the zone. Just a fraction of an inch further inside. As Noah Grimm has been dancing around that corner. So three and one. The pitch. That one hit on the ground. Two third. Bit of a bobble. Long throw is not in time. Just late. So we will give Daly the sink. Oh. We're going to give Daly the single on that one. That was going to be a tough play no matter what. Actually, no, we're not. Though there was a bit of a bobble there, so we are going to give the error. So that is the third error committed by Pittsville. So runner at first, nobody out, and that will bring up Riley Del Conte. Kind of back and forth. We'll see what they have scored officially down in the dugout after the game to make sure. But I was given, I'm going to give an error there for right now. That was just that bobble. Probably gets him without the bobble. So runner on first. Riley Del Conte comes in. He reached on an error in the second. Was stranded at second. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Thought about the throw down. Not there. 0-1. Oh yeah, Del, yeah, Del Conte was the one on that ball. Had that little flare out to center. And Daly got caught napping. Is that one low bounces in front of the plate one and one um, was almost all the way to second and I think the center fielder Dylan Luther got a little bit of happy a little bit of happy glove there like getting ready to turn the double play would have been an easy double play and didn't quite secure the catch as that one hit on the ground slow roller good pick by the third baseman throw to first gets past that's be another error And it, it hit. Oh, nope, 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 nope. That hit him. Okay. Never mind. That hit Riley Del Conte. So that's going to be one and two. 
That's going to be a foul ball. It hit him first and then rolled out. And I think the umpire, home plate umpire didn't make a good enough signal. He's going to take a little bit of a walk here. Is that one, I think, got him in the knee. Or no, got him in the foot. You can see him kind of playing around with that foot. But he's going to dig back in. So it'll be one and two on Riley Del Conte. And that saves an error. Yeah, one and two. So that's a foul ball. It hit him in the foot and then rolled out to third. I don't think they ever actually made the throw. Now the pickoff move at first, not there. Getting back in safely is Daly. But a break for Pittsville, as I don't think anybody in the outfield heard the umpire calling foul on that one. Or I don't think he saw it. I think actually the coach is like, hey, it hit his foot. He's hobbling down the line. So we get the kick and the pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three. One, oh, one away. So Del Conte heads back to the dugout. Maybe get that foot looked at a little bit. Don't need to worry about ice for the for a foot tonight. As I think you just take the shoe off and just hold it up in the air. But Cody Quinnell will dig in the second baseman. He struck out looking back in the second. That one is foul. Strike one. Big cut there from Quinnell. Here, 0 and 1. Grimm looking to get out of the fourth. As he will come set. The pitch. That one just a bit high, 1 and 1. Still only the one hit for Nisita. Pittsville, the three errors from Pittsville are really giving them a lot of batters. That one swing and a miss. Had Quinnell way out in front, one and two. See what Grimm comes back with. He will come in. That one swing and a miss, strike three. Two down. And that will bring up the number nine hitter, Mr. Horak. Like I said, don't have his first name. Ethan. I'm Ethan or Eric or I'm trying to think of an E name. Sadly, YouTube turning the comments off on us. So you can't tell us. The pitch. That one catches the inside corner as it comes across. 0 and 1. That is a hard pitch as a right hander. And it just catches that inside corner coming across the plate like that. Best you're going to get is a little slow roller as that one just misses the outside corner, one and one. Best you're going to be able to get out of that is a little jam job roller down that first baseline. Grim sets the pitch. That one just misses a bit low, two and one. Sadly, don't have the iPad working today, so I can't give you a pitch count for... Noah Grimm, because that's going to be the concern coming up here. He's had some long innings. The pitch. That one catches the zone. Two and two. Two and two. The kick. The pitch. Oh, good hold there. Runs the count full. Three and two. Horak, like I said, struck out looking back in the second. 0 for 1. The kick. The pitch. Runner goes. Swing and a miss. Strike 3. After the error, three straight strikeouts for Noah Grimm. That sends us to the top of the fifth. Pittsville will have the top of the order. Haley Grimm Neve due up when we come back. Forward being a mutual, it's, uh, it's a great opportunity for customers that uh, bank with us because it allows us to make decisions for the long term, for our community, for our customers, and for our employees. We're not driven for profit as most companies are, so we can make decisions that are good for our communities, our employees, and our depositors, and that, that's very unique.
The softball team pushes a run across 16-1. They're in the fourth over right behind us here. 1-1 one, one heading to the fifth here in on the baseball side. Top of the order due up for the Panthers, Haley Grim Neve. They will face Landon Murphy, who has done a really good job keeping them off the board since that first inning. Just the two runners there in the third. He's had a base runner every inning. But you know, obviously the run across in the first. They caught the guy stealing in the second. Got a couple on and then a fielder's choice and a fly pop out in the third. And then the sing two out single was stranded by a strikeout as that one comes in just a bit high. Evan Haley. One and oh. Evan Haley, one for two. Uh, grounded out in the first. Single and then was erased on a fielder's choice in the third. That one hit on the ground, but right to second pick. Throw in time. That will end the inning. Good 4-3 put out. One down. And that brings up Noah Grimm. He single he walked and scored in the first, then grounded out two first in the third. 0 for 1 today. Noah Grimm. 10 strikeouts for Noah Grimm already on the other side. That one comes in just a bit outside. Ball one. And the pitch. That one hit foul. That one's going to hook down the line. The pitch. That one is hit down the line. Foul. That one's going to got to play towards the. Looks like some pretty new batting cages out there. One and two. Yeah, they can do that. They can do that, but the game's official at 61. <laughs> So game official on the other side, 16 won the final. But they're gonna I think they're gonna keep going with a little bit of the um, first game of the year and probably not getting another game for a while. So is the pitch. That one inside, two and two. But we're here in the fifth, one away. Noah Grimm at the plate, looking to maybe give himself the lead and a chance at the win as that one outside runs the count full three and two. As the kick and the pitch, that one low, Grimm draws another walk. So Grimm will get to first on the walk. And that will bring up Brad Neve, a single and hit by a pitch. One for one officially, but on base both times he's been at the plate. Was stranded at third in the first, stranded at second in the third. So Neve, now a bit, oh, they're getting Noah Grimm all jacketed up. Sweatshirted up. Tech that arm. Scrim's going to have to come out and probably pitch the bottom of the inning. See how much further he goes here today. The pitch. That one low. That's going to squirt by. And that is going to send Grim to second. The pass ball gets Grim to second. So 1 0 the count. Now runner in scoring position for the Panthers. Neve digging back in. Big RBI standing out there. The pitch. That one hit in the air. That's gonna go back of back of first. That's gonna nope, that's gonna make it out of play. So that one gets out of play. One and one. We get back. So I have to get a new ball in as that one went all the way out of play. Almost had a play there. 
That would have been a huge out here with one out. But see what Neve can do. If he can get something to the outfield, that should bring Grimm across. And now, oh, our home plate umpire. Oh, just getting some extra balls, I think. So Neve digs back in the DH. Murphy sets the pitch. High for a ball. Two and one. So best opportunity that Pittsville has had since the third. The pitch. High again. Three and one. The pitch. That one foul back heading up towards us. Got a good pitch to hit, just couldn't quite get the bat on it. Runs the count full. Murphy sets. The full count pitch. That one just got a piece of it. High, tight fastball and... Neve took a took just a chop at it and got just enough of it. Ended up rolling and stopping in the left hand batter's box. Neve digs back in. It's full count again. The pitch. That one hit in the air. Back of second. Drifting over makes the catch two down. Good play there. That ball was drifting in the wind. Neve ends up flying out in the infield, two away, huge out there, and that will bring up Dylan Luther. Struck out in the first, reached on a fielder's choice in the third. He's 0 for 2. They're going to clean that plate up, a little bit of dishwashing, and Dylan Luther will dig in. Another chance. As the center fielder make up for that error in the fir in the, the second, the pitch. That one's low for a ball. One and oh. Long look in, now set from Murphy. The pitch. That one right down the middle. Luther looks at it, one and one. Luther takes steps out, takes an extra swing. And he caught for a second there. The kick. The pitch. That one hit on the ground. Two third. That's going to be a tough play. It gets passed. Now maybe a chance there, but no. Grimm will get back to second. They won't try and make a play there. And the E5 will give Pittsville more life. That is the first error. Yep, that is the first error on the first error, and that gets two on now for Waylon Grimm. He follows that one off. Oh, and one. Waylon Grimm doubled, had an RBI double in the first, and then popped out to short in the third, one for two. He's the one that knocked in Noah Grimm as they will come set. The pitch. That one catches the outside corner, strike two. Quickly down 0-2 is Waylon Grimm. Let's see what they decide to do here. Waylon can cut back into this one, the pitch. That one just misses the outside corner, one and two. Good take there from Waylon Grimm. That looked like it was gonna be strike three. But just missing the corner. Can't actually see the plate from up here. The kick. The pitch. Inside. Grim working his coming out of the way. That one was heading right for his shoulder. Ball maybe slipping on Murphy. Two and two now. Murphy's going to leave that hand in his back pocket for a little bit. Let that warm up. Just a touch. Second and for, for runners take their leads. Two, two, two outs. The pitch. That one hit right back up the middle. 
That's going to be a tough play pick. Throw to first will not be in time. Infield single, Waylon Grimm, and the bases are loaded. Grimm beats it out, and that will bring up Marcus Getzinger. So Marcus Getzinger will come in. He has struck out twice today. So bases are loaded. Two outs. Getzinger struck out swinging in the first, struck out looking in the fourth. And Murphy will go to the windup here with the bases loaded. The pitch shows bunt, takes a strike. Best opportunity Pittsville has had since the first. The wind, the pitch, that one inside. Up over the helmet of Marcus Getzinger, 1-1. One, one. The pitch. Another one high. Two and one. So two one count here. The pitch. That one chopped by the foul. Another high and tight pitch. And a chop at that one. That was ball three. So Gretzinger. So Gretzinger looking to just get something onto the grass in the outfield. Anything that touches the ground in the outfield will give Pittsville the lead. Murphy, the pitch. Outside. Count is full. Everybody's going to be in motion. Grimm will be leaving from third. Luther from second. Grimm from first. The 3 2. Swing and a miss, strike three. Murphy gets out of it. Gets the strikeout of Marcus Getzinger's. Getzinger strikes out for the third time, and Pittsville leaves the bases loaded. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Nasita will have the top of the order. Murphy, Reynolds, Baraji, do up when we come back. I had an employee at once ask me to prioritize family, faith, and business. And I put them in that order in particular. For each one of our employees, it's family first. You do what is best for you and your family. Then the rest of it will take care of itself. It's about making sure you make the best decisions for you and your family. Pittsville had bases loaded, could not push the run across, so we head now to the bottom of the fifth. Murphy, Reynolds, Baraji do up four. The Nasita Cardinals, as they will look to get a run across, as we see maybe somebody, yep, definitely somebody warming up for Nasita. Can't see, I think... If I recognize them right, I believe that is Boner Bloom. One of the guys that's been wearing a sweatshirt. We'll see when he comes in. But that is going to be interesting. Maybe Murphy coming up on that pitch count. That's something that obviously is a huge issue sometimes. And with the amount everybody's done, and maybe with some of the issues that Murphy was having holding on to things... Holding on to the ball that was and pitching there right at the end. He was got out of it with that strikeout. But some of those pitches he threw to Getzinger there at the end of the fifth were high and tight. And that's usually a sign of somebody not quite getting there as somebody goes running behind the Cardinal warming up. Yep, the warm-up pitch is still going on here. One run, four hits, three errors for the Pittsville Panthers. One run, one hit, one error for Nisita. As the throw comes down and coming up to the plate, Landon Murphy struck out and reached on an error. Oh, 
for two. As it is definitely getting colder here and getting darker as well. We're going to have to lighten that camera up just a bit for you guys. Murphy digs in from the right side. Noah Grimm, the pitch, shows Bond, takes a strike. 0-1. Oh Get everything back up here. So 0-1. Oh as Grimm sets the pitch. Swing, and it might have gotten a piece of that one. Either way, it's 0-2. Oh, and two from Noah Grimm. Sets the pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three. High fastball by him. One away. And that will bring James Reynolds to the plate. Walked and scored in the first. Pop grounded out to first in the second. They will set the kick, the pitch. That one just a bit low. Nope. Well, that one caught to the bottom of the zone. Strike one, according to the scoreboard here. The kick, the pitch. High and outside, one and one. As Grimm sets again, the kick, the pitch, that one tapped. Oh, hit in the air to right. Catch is made. Didn't sound like it was going to make the outfield, but it did. Reynolds flies out to right. That is only the second ball that Nasita has gotten out of the infield. There was the error on... There was the error on Dylan Luther and then the fly out to Wayland Grimm. The first pitch here is outside for a ball to Mikai Barogi. I think I'm saying that right. I apologize to his, to anybody if you're not. I did not get a chance to check on name pronunciations today. As that one comes in, that's going to catch the zone for a strike one and one. Trying to get back in the swing of getting everything going. Couple weeks off to recoup and get us ready for baseball. Uh, Dairyland League schedule is coming out. We will have a lot of River Bandit games. Big cut and a miss, strike two. One and two. Obviously, a lot of Pittsville River Bandit games will be down in Pittsville a few more times yet this year. Some softball, some baseball. The kick, the pitch. That one outside, two and two. set the kick and the pitch swing and a miss strike three and that will end the inning two more strikeouts for Noah Grimm we head to the top of the six bottom of the order due up for Pittsville Domin Zickert Luther when we come back With 100 years of working experience, the team at Century 21 Dairyland Realty are ready to help you. Whether you're looking for a new home, recreation land, or a place to start your new business, the team at Century 21 Dairyland Realty are ready to help you. Stop into either of their convenient locations on West Broadway Avenue in Medford or North 4th Street in Abbotsford or find them online at c21dairyland.com to find out more. Century 21 Dairyland Realty, a proud supporter of local athletics.
Clinter Insurance, we know you want to protect your business. The Clinter Insurance team will help you choose the insurance package and plan that fits you and your business. At Clinter Insurance, protecting your business is our top priority. Clinter Insurance. Welcome back. Top of the sixth. New pitcher. So, new pitcher for the for the um, Nasita Cardinals. That is Stephen Stephen Daly. He is pitching now. So, and he will face first pitch. That one just misses low for a ball to Eastman Daman. So five innings pitched. We'll get you a full stat as that one does catch the outside corner, one and one. Get everything caught back up here. We'll give you a full breakdown. We'll stick we'll stick around after the inning. We'll give you the full breakdown for the pitch. That one hit on the ground. Two first pick. He takes it himself. One away. So one out. And that will bring up Logan Zickert. Walked and then was caught stealing and then singled back in the fourth. One for one. The kick. The pitch. That one hit in the air. That's going to go right over the top of us. Oh, and one. So, yeah, we'll, we'll go through the stats of the line for Landon Murphy, but we do know he goes five. Gives up the one run it was earned. As the kick and the pitch inside one and one. Gave up one, two, as I'm kind of doing the math here, quick three, four, five hits. That one outside, two and one. Three walks, the pitch. That one a bit low, three and one on Logan Zickert. And seven strikeouts. Did also hit a batter. The pitch, that one outside, ball four. Zickert will reach. So a one out walk puts Logan Zickert on for the third time tonight. And that will bring up Ethan Stren, who will bat for Dylan Luther. So Ethan Stren will bat for Luther here. The pitch, that one catches his own first strike. 0 and 1. So Ethan Stren getting his first at bat of the year. Coming in for Dylan Luther, the pitch. Inside, one and one. Dryden Luther goes 0 for 2, striking out, swinging both times. And set the kick, the pitch. That one popped up. Center field, playable, catch is made, two away. That one didn't sound like it got all that much, but that one makes it out to center field. And two away now. And that'll bring us back to the top of the order and Evan Haley. So Ethan Stren bats for D Dryden Luther. See where everybody goes here. Maybe making changes for a, maybe a pitching change coming up here later. This is the pitch. Out 1-0. Oh. and oh. So still the runner at first. That is Zickert. He's reached all three times today. The pitch. That one is hit foul. That's going to hook out of play. One and one. The kick. The pitch. Inside. Almost hits him. That will get Zecker to second. He will... 
So one and two. So that high pitch, that allows Zecker to steal second. So he's one of two in steals today. Only... The, yes, he is the only batter to steal a base. Goes one for two. Actually, no, check that. That is Dryden Luther in. Never mind. Got, somebody came out. He's wearing number five. So Dryden Luther actually is staying. Or no, my bad. No. Oh, man, I'm getting all screwed up here. So Stren flew out. So Evan Haley follows that one off. It is two and two. I saw a different. I saw the five, and it got me all confused up as the pitch. That one comes in. That's going to be high, and that's actually ball four. So now first and second, two outs, and that'll bring up Noah Grimm. Walked in the first and scored a run. Grounded out to third, and then walked in the fifth. Was stranded at third. See what he can do here. The pitch. That one is hit on the line. That one is through a base hit. They will send Sickert. He will turn. He's going to come home. He will score. They are going to send send another runner. The throw comes in. Not in time. Two runs across on the double. Haley comes all the way around from first. He scores. Zickert comes all the way around. He scores. On the double by Noah Grimm, he will advance to third on the throw. So there we go. Pittsville gets the lead here in the six with two outs. So the walk, the two walks come back to hurt Nasita. Stephen Daly will end up. So that means Landon Murphy will get a no decision. I was going to get that anyway, but. So, but yeah, we'll go through the his line here. But Daly's still not out of trouble yet as that one comes in. Does catch the outside corner to Brad Neve. Singled in the first, was hit by a pitch in the third, and then popped out to second in the fifth. That one comes in, does catch the zone again, 0-2. Daly maybe finding the groove a little bit more here. Sets the kick, the pitch. That one in the dirt gets past Grimm. Thought about it for a second, but he heads back to third. And that's where that pitch count rule or some of that stuff can get, get to you a little bit. So Daly taking his time coming back up after that play. He's gonna get the mound set for himself. Brad Neve taking a little extra time as well. See if maybe he can knock Grimm and get one of those Marshfield insurance runs. The pitch. High two and two. Plenty of time yet for Nasita. They'll bat in the bottom of the six. They will send four five. Swing and a miss, strike three. That will end the inning, but not before Pittsville pushes three runs across on a big two RBI double by Noah Grimm. He will be stranded. We head to the bottom of the six. As we were saying, four, five, six, do up for Nasita, Dom Bone, Noah Bloom, Stephen Daly when we come back. Clinter Insurance, we know you want to protect your business. The Clinter Insurance team will help you choose the insurance package and plan that fits you and your business. At Clinter Insurance, protecting your business is our top priority. Clinter Insurance. Living every day to the fullest, giving hugs and laughing loudly, bringing joy to those you love. Vaccines set us free to live openly. Schedule yours today.
Noah Grimm has retired 11 of the last 12 he's faced. The only batter reaching Stephen Daly reached on an error back in the fourth. But he has been mowing down opposition. In fact, only one other player has even gotten a ball.
Welcome back. Pitching change, as we said. Evan Haley comes in. Give you some lines here real quick. Noah Grimm goes five and a third. Give up just the one run it was earned so far. Two walks, two hits, 12 strikeouts. He is responsible for both base runners. Landon Murphy goes five. Three walks, five hits, one run it was earned. Seven strikeouts. As the first pitch comes across for a ball to Riley Del Conte. Second pitch comes in. That one catches the zone. One and one. Coach Rayburn making the change. Coach Rayburn also the manager of the Pittsville River Bandits. As he get leads and the pitch. Catches the bottom of the zone. One and two. It's going to be interesting. Evan Haley comes in. Not quite the... Doesn't quite throw as hard as Noah Grimm. Now they pitch. That one just missing low, two and two. Brighten things up a little bit here for you as the sun is definitely setting here as we approach six o'clock here in Nesita. Haley, the pitch. Inside runs the count full. So runs the count full, three and two. Quinnell due up next. They set. The pitch. Inside ball. Four bases are loaded. Bases loaded. One out, and that will bring up Cody Quinnell. Struck out twice today. Struck out looking in the second. Struck out looking in the fourth. 0 for 2. So Haley looking to get out of it. Would love a ground ball here. The pitch. That one low. It's going to squirt past, but not far enough. Everyone has to hold. Here we are. Bottom six. Pittsville leading 3-1, but the tying run standing at second. That is Stephen Daly. Noah Bloom is at third. Riley Delchies, that one is hit in the air. Little cutter, that one is going to be caught. Big out there. Little pop out there to third. Trying to see and make sure if I know. Nope. Trying to see who's out there. Didn't see the defensive subs on that change. But that is a huge out. Two away now, and that will bring up the bottom of the order. And Mr. Horak. Evan Horak. Some of the softball players up talking to the radio guys. Big swing and a miss strike one for Evan Horak. That was the one name, they, first name they didn't give us. Give a congratulations to the Nesita girls. They get the big win against Pittsville. The pitch. That one comes across just a bit low, one and one. So 1-1, one, one. Haley looking to get out of this, the pitch. That one catches the zone, one and two. One strike away from getting out of this and getting them to the seventh. Haley sets. The pitch. That one fouled off. Evan Horak stays alive, one and two. Haley sets the pitch. That one hit in the air. Foul territory that might be playable. It is not. That gets out of play. So that one will reset. Still one and two. Evan Horex keeping himself alive. He struck out twice, but both of those he fought off a lot of pitches. Haley, the pitch. That one high, two and two. One strike away from getting out of this are the Panthers. Haley sets. The pitch. 
Swing and a miss, strike three. Nasita loads the bases. Haley gets the outs. And that will send us to the seventh. Pittsville escapes. And that will send Luther Grimm Getzinger to the plate in the seventh. When we come back, Pittsville three, Nasita one. I had an employee at once ask me to prioritize family, faith, and business. And I put him in that order in particular. For each one of our employees, it's family first. You do what is best for you and your family. Then the rest of it will take care of itself. It's about making sure you make the best decisions for you and your family. Wind is picking up even more here as we head to the seventh. Pittsville will have, it starts blowing right into our face. Changed directions a little bit. Had the, had the wind in my face on the way down, wind in the face on the way back. But it'll be Stephen Daly out looking to keep his team close, give them a chance to walk this off in the bottom of the inning. As this really starts to pick up here. I'm going to bring that inside a bit more. There, that might help a little bit. There we go. Nope, that wind is just going to keep blasting. We're going to have to pull that in. There, that'll help a little bit. So it'll be daily. Facing off, it'll be Luther Grimm Getzinger, 4 5 6 in the Pittsville lineup as they look to hold on and open their season with a win. That big two RBI sink double by Noah Grimm. Actually, you know what? Yeah, we'll give him the double. He advanced the third. No, actually, you know what? I'm going to change that. We'll, we'll check officially, but we'll leave it a double now. We'll, we'll check before we talk to him. Assuming they can hold on and get the win. The first pitch in. That catches a zone for a strike from Stephen Daly. 0-1. Dylan Luther, strikeout, reached on a fielder's choice and reached on an error. The pitch, that one's hit on the line. That one's going to drop in for a base hit. Good line drive to left, Dylan Luther. And he leads the inning off with a single. Big Marshfield insurance run standing out there right now. Waylon Grimm will come to the plate now. That one misses for a ball. I was looking down, making sure I was right on some other stuff. So Waylon Grimm, double, RBI double in the first, popped out and then single, two for three. Big, got in a miss, strike two, strike one, excuse me, one and one. So one and one to Waylon Grimm. Said he had that RBI double back in the first. The pitch. That one low and outside. Two and one. <coughs> that wind blowing in, drying things out a little bit. That pitch comes in. That's low and outside. Three and one. So three and one now on Whalen Grimm. Pittsville looking to maybe tack on some of those Marshfield insurance runs. That pitch comes in. That one's popped up, but that's going to go foul and out of play. Runs the count full three and two. Nakusa will have the top of the order in the bottom of the inning. So a chance to maybe get some runs across for him. The pitch. 
Inside, that brushes Grim off the plate. No reason to take. Oh. Well, that should be ball four. I guess not. I think we lost track of balls there. The runner goes the pitch. That one's inside. The throw down is not in time. Won't matter anyway. That was the walk. So a walk ends up with the walk anyway. Took an extra pitch to get it. So two on, nobody out. That will bring up Marcus Getzinger. He's got the sombrero. Three strikeouts today. Two swinging, one looking. Or the hat trick, excuse me. Looking to avoid that golden sombrero. Runner in scoring position for him. Shows bunt, lays it down. Good bunt right out in front. Pick. They will take the out at first. So the sacrifice. That goes 1-3. That is the first out of the inning. Both runners move up 90 feet. Two in scoring position now. One out for Easton Dahman. Dahman today, two strikeouts and a ground out to third. Or ground out to first, excuse me. He grounded out to lead off the sixth. The pitch. That one low gets past. They're going to send the runner. They will not have a play, and Dylan Luther will come across on the wild pitch. 4-1. So Luther comes across on the wild pitch, and Pittsville with the lead now 4-1. Dom in the first baseman will dig back in, 1-0 to him. Daly sets the pitch. That one's hit on a line, but foul. 1-1. One one. Plenty to go yet. I mean, top of the order for Nasita, and that's the first time that they will see... Evan Haley, assuming Evan Haley comes out to pitch the bottom of the bottom of the seventh, that one high for a ball, two and one. Wind continues to pick up here. Be interesting to see how that affects things as well going into that seventh inning. The pitch outside, three and one. Oh, you know, that I think the wind adding to some of those outfield errors that we've seen from Pittsville. The pitch. Outside ball four, and that's another walk. Second walk of the inning puts runners at the corners for Pittsville. Still just the one out, and that will bring up Logan Zickert, the left-handed hitter. That one high for a ball. Look at that Zickert. Let's see if he turns his back. Yeah, that's three. Not too often you see a left-handed catcher. The pitch. That one high for a ball, 2-0. and oh. Two walks and a single in the inning. It was the sacrifice that moved the runners over, and then the wild pitch getting that run across. That one low and inside, 3-0. and oh. Will set the pitch. High and outside, four pitch walk, and that will load the bases. So bases loaded, and that will bring up Drayden Luther again. Drayden Luther again. So that was a one that hit, and now we're going to see Nasita's coach, who I didn't catch. I did not catch his name. Coach Bloom will come out, and he's going to have a chat with his pitcher here. Bases loaded, one out. Here in the top of the seventh, 4-1 Pittsville. It's not, not taking him out. It's just a, hey, come on, you can throw, you know that, hey, come on, you can throw strikes conversation. You know, you sometimes you just have to have those with a pitcher. They get, a, you know, they start missing a little bit, and they try overthrowing a little bit, and you just have to be like, nope. Just, you know, throw the ball. Trust your teammates. You know, ground ball here gets them out of the inning without any further damage, but it'll be Dryden Luther 
check back in, and that one catches the zone for a strike. So Dryden Luther re-enters. That one catches the zone for a strike. 0-2 oh, quickly here. Evan Haley on deck. The wind. The pitch. Swing and a miss. He goes around. Strike three. Two away. Those conversations work a lot. And now the pitcher, Evan Haley, comes to the plate. He is one for three officially. Grounded out in the first and the fifth. Singled and was erased on the fielder's choice in the third and then walked and scored last inning. That one's hit right back up the middle. Daly gets to it. The throw to first in time, and that'll end the inning. One right back up the middle. Daly gets it. That will retire the side, but Pittsville gets one more across. Last chance for Nesita. They will have the top of the order here in the seventh. When we come back. Forward being a mutual, it's, uh, it's a great opportunity for customers that uh, bank with us because it allows us to make decisions for the long term, for our community, for our customers, and for our employees. We're not driven for profit as most companies are. So we can make decisions that are good for our communities, our employees, and our depositors. And that, that's very unique. Last chance here for Nesita. Bottom of the seventh. They will have the top of the order due up. Murphy, Reynolds, Baraji due up here. They need three. And they will face, I believe that's Grim, or excuse me, I believe that's Haley back out there again. Yes, it is. Evan Haley out for his second inning of work. Got himself in a little bit of trouble there in the first, or in the bottom there when he came in for Noah Grimm. But see if he can maybe get the groove a little bit more here and get himself through this inning as we brighten that up a little bit. Oh, a little too bright there. As the sun continuing to set here. No light, so this one's going to have to get in. So Murphy to lead things off. He is 0 for 2. He did reach on an error in the second. Otherwise, a couple of strikeouts. First pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike one. 0 and 1. Those four errors on Pittsville. Those are going to be huge. The pitch. That one big cut and a miss. Strike two by Murphy. 0 and 2. Haley sets the pitch. That one fouled back up into the up into the fencing. Stays alive. 0-2. Does Landon Murphy. The pitch. Low and in the dirt. One and two. That 
that's something I'm sure Coach Rayburn's going to be talking about at practice tomorrow. The four errors. The pitch. That one's popped up. In foul territory. Can someone get to it? No, it's going to get out of play. Staying alive again is Landon Murphy. He's followed two off already with two strikes. Haley takes the long walk back to the mound. As we see more blankets coming out, and people packing up a little bit, I think, with the wind and the cold. It's technically warmed up a bit since first pitch, but I think the wind making it feel a whole lot colder out here. Sets. Haley, the 2-2, two -two. swing and a miss, strike three, one away. Haley gets the strikeout, and that will bring up James Reynolds. Walked and scored a run in the first, grounded out to first in the second, and then flew out to right in the fifth. 0 for 2 officially. Reynolds digs in against Haley. It's first time seeing Evan. Haley, the kick, the pitch. Catches the inside corner, 0-1. Set the kick, the pitch. High for a ball, 1-1. One one. The kick, the pitch. Inside, down near the feet of Reynolds. Two and one. There we go. Get that to update. Like we said, we know for sure we got baseball Friday and Saturday. Still working on details for... Um, if there might be something Thursday, the pitch. Swing and a miss. Two and two. That is to be determined if one somebody for us is available and two if games get played on Thursday. The pitch. That one hit on the ground, but foul. Reynolds stays alive. Makai Baraji due up. He will get in that bat. 4-1 Pittsville here in the seventh. Sets. Haley, the pitch. That one's hit on the line. That one's going to get over the first baseman's head. That's going to get into right field to base hit. So a one out single gives new life to the Nesita Cardinals. Reynolds gets one over the head of Noah Grimm, who is now at first. So Grimm actually moved to first. Trying to piece everything together. Ah, Domin moved to there, and then I'm guessing. Oh, that one is pop foul for Makai Baraji. One one. There we go. I there we go. Now we got everything pieced together. So Dryden Luther is now at short. Noah Grimm is at first base, and then Evan Haley came in and pitched, which moved Easton Dahman across the diamond from first to third. Is that one swing and a miss? Oh, and two. And Makai is upset about that one at himself for, take, for taking a swing at that one. That was a high pitch. So, oh, and two. Haley, the pitch. High and outside. One and two. Throw down to second. Gets into center field. So Reynolds steals second. One and two. So the runner in scoring position not, doesn't matter. That run does not matter for Pittsville. We get everything set now with the runner at second. The pitch. That one hit in the air, but that's going to hook foul and out of play. Stays one and two. That one actually shot all the way. Nope. No, never mind. That one went way out. Nope. No, it did. It shot back in, so it bounced off the fencing out there. And 
Joey Downs. Okay, that's actually more changes there. Okay, Pittsville recoily redoing their infields. That one hit on the ground. That one is going to be picked up. They will go to first, get the out. So the, that will move the runner over to third, but they need the outs. That one goes 4-3. Two away now. Runner advancing all the now at third. Four. Dom Bone, who grounded out, got the RBI, then struck out, and then grounded out again. He is 0 for 3. The first pitch. That one just chopped down. This will do it. Haley, the toss, and Pittsville gets the first win of the year. Pittsville gets the win. They will win 4-1. We're going to try and grab Coach Coach Rayburn and our, our player of the game. That is going to be Noah Grimm. We'll have him come up here. I don't think we'll be able to do anything on the field. But we'll have him come up here, and we will chat with them in just a moment.
All right, we are joined by our player of the game, Noah Grimm. Noah, 12 strikeouts and you get the win in the start. What was kind of working for you on the mound? Well, I thought it was it was cold. Everybody knew that. Uh, I did a, I did a lot of work this winter. I felt felt like I was ready for the season, and so when I, I came out there, I my fastball was good all night. I wasn't pretty I wasn't crazy with it. I, I, I stayed in the zone pretty good, like I wanted to. So we gotta we gotta go to the sixth inning now. Top of the six, it, runs have been at a premium all day. You come to the plate, I had you down for a double. Probably could have gone either way. Double or a triple, two runs. What was kind of going through your mind as you saw that ball come in in that play? Well, that was a surprising play because it was a new pitcher. I wasn't really watching him, so I was thinking to myself, I'll take it, take the first pitch, just look at it. And that was the right mindset, I guess, because it was outside and I struggled with the outside pitch. So when I started to take it, I seen it was a good pitch, so I kind of stayed back on it on accident. And so I drove it down the third baseline and got some runs like we needed. It's a pretty exciting play. <laughs> so I have to ask you this question because we talked about a lot the weather. Yeah. Obviously cold, everything's still a little damp. Would you rather just get a chance to play baseball or would you rather wait a couple of weeks till it warms up? Oh, uh, playing through it. I mean, now I've played in this weather, I'd, I'd want to play baseball right away. I'm playing with all the guys and I know they're playing through it too, so it's not like anybody's got an advantage. Everybody's just got to grind it out, I guess. Sounds good. Congratulations on the win. Thank you. Our player of the game, Noah Grimm. Thank you. Thank you. Yep, thank you. Yep. All right, so we'll go through some of the stats here. Evan Haley ends the day. He goes one for four. Did also walk. Noah Grimm goes one, one for two, two walks. Run scored two RBI. Brad Neve ends the day. He goes one for three with a single. Did also was hit by a pitch. Dylan Luther goes one for two. Also hit into a fielder's choice and hit into an, was reached on an error. Did also score a run. Waylon Grimm goes. Two for three, a double. Did also ground out. Did also walk in that seventh inning. Marcus Getzinger, he goes 0 for three with a sacrifice, three strikeouts. Easton Dahman goes 0 for three, did walk, two strikeouts. Logan Zickert ends up going one for one with three walks. He reached base every time he came to the plate, was also caught stealing. Then Drayden Luther goes 0 for three, and Ethan Sten 0 for one in the nine spot. This is the pitching line. Noah Grimm does get the win. He goes five, goes five and a third. One run, it was earned. Two walks, two hits, 12 strikeouts. Evan Haley goes an inning and two thirds. Gets the save. He gave up one, one hit, one walk. Struck out one, but didn't give up any runs. So that's the stats for Pittsville. Flip it over and talk about the, excuse me, the Nasita Cardinals. Landon Murphy goes 0 for 3, three strikeouts, did reach on an error. James Reynolds goes 1 for 3, did walk and also scored a run. Mikai Baraji, he goes 1 for 4, did steal a base. Two strikeouts. Dom Bone goes 0 for 3, but did get an RBI. He knocked in the only run of the game. As the rain starts coming down here in Nesita. Noah Bloom goes 0 for 2, did reach on an error. Steven Daly, 1 for 1, reached on an error and walked. Riley Del Conti, Goes 0 for 1, did walk and reached on an error. Cody Quinlan goes 0 for 3, two strikeouts. Evan Horak 0 for 3 with three strikeouts. Landon Murphy gets the no decision. He goes five innings. 
one run. It was earned. Struck out seven, walked three on five hits. Did also hit a batter. Steven Daly gives up. He gives up three runs. They were earned on on only two hits. Walked. Walked three and struck out one. So Stephen Daly goes, that said, the final two takes the loss. That will wrap things up for us here from Nesita. As we said, things a little up in the air for the rest of the week. So make sure to check us out at Sports on Focus on Facebook if you are interested in keeping an eye on our schedule. I'm going to pack up quick and get going as the rain starts falling here in Nesita. And we will see you when.